So the application of Tory policies based on harsh spending cuts, I think, will present huge difficulties for our economy. We're not in growth, and we're heavily dependent on public money. However, I am a believer in fixing problems. The size of the economic challenge we face <coughs> is huge, huge, but we must not lie down under it. The political process demonstrates that progress is always possible. At the beginning of this term of the Assembly, as I said, many people thought an executive led by the DUP and Sinn Féin wouldn't last. I knew then that they would be proven wrong. So the scale of political change achieved over the past number of years provides lessons for how we approach our economic difficulties. The first is to believe that change is possible, to believe that we can achieve economic prosperity for the benefit of all of our people. And central to delivering change is the process of challenging long-established beliefs and working practices, to place the greater good above the accepted status quo. And we need to be fully cognizant of the current economic threats and opportunities. We need the innovative thinking, the hard decision making, the dialogue that mark the process of political change. And this is not just an issue for policymakers, but all levels of our community and business sector. We need to look at the current economic reality and identify our competitive advantage. One of the economic su successes of the past term has been the high level of quality foreign direct investment that we have managed to attract. I remember when Peter Robinson and I, and even Ian Paisley and I went to the United States the first time, some people said, what are they going there for? There's a world economic recession, they won't get one job. Well, I think we've proven them wrong. And the New York Stock Exchange uh, is a prime uh, example. They recognize the potential and the expertise of a local company, and they invested here. We have a highly skilled and motivated workforce. We have access to wider European markets, and we are a bridge between the United States and Europe. And uh, due to Project Kelvin, we now have quicker communications and technology links to the west and east coast of America than they have with each other. And the New York Stock Exchange liked <coughs> our environment. This same process has been repeated by other US companies such as Citigroup and Allstate and many others. We have world leaders in innovative fields such as First Derivatives in URI, which Peter and I visited recently. We have a growing creative industry sector, including film and music making, software and gaming. And this sector alone employs 36,000 people and absolutely justifies our decision to pour uh, five million pounds, roughly, into the uh, construction of uh, two new studios at the uh, Titanic Quarter beside the paint hall, where uh, amazing things are being done. Uh, when we went to the West Coast, uh, we did so at the time whenever two soldiers had been killed in Antrim. Constable Stephen Carroll had been killed, and there was some nervousness about whether or not Universal would come whether or not HBO would come. Well, they came. They, to place great confidence in us. And as a result of that, Universal made their feature-length movie. HBO made their uh, first of the series of the Game of Thrones, which has now been trailed on Sky Atlantic. And I think the vast majority of people on the island of Ireland and in the north haven't got a notion that this was made in the north of Ireland. Are they going to be amazed whenever they see the finished product. We've seen some of it and it is absolutely fantastic. The important thing is that roughly between 700 and 800 people were employed at the paint hall as a result of these initiatives. And that clearly shows what can be done even in the context of difficulties uh, that we face. So our agri-food sector, for example, is a larger exporter and is a recognised brand throughout the world. We're gaining the reputation as a good place in which to invest and grow business. So we have competitive advantage. We now need a strategy to exploit that and build an economy that delivers for all. We need a new export strategy to deliver jobs and growth. We have the skills. We have the people. We now need to realise our potential. I believe we need an all-Ireland economic recovery plan that prioritizes job creation. Sinn Féin believes that our economic destiny should be in the hands of locally accountable ministers. 
and the key is to have powers to impact on our economy and the flexibility to shape our economic conditions. We need responsibility for economic matters devolved to ministers who understand the local economy and are accountable to people in this room and in the wider community. This will allow us to develop a regional response to global and national uh, economic changes. I think our economic needs don't register uh, with policymakers in, uh, in London. The biggest impact on our economy is the situation in the South. Our economies are interconnected and they're interdependent. This is not a political aspiration, but a statement of economic fact. We believe that greater cooperation across the island will deliver more for all of our people than the existing competition between our regions. Given that economic reality, Sinn Féin is calling for a frank and open and objective discussion to develop on uh, an all-Ireland plan to promote jobs, economic growth, innovation and exports. And the important thing is that this should threaten no one's identity, but it absolutely will benefit us all. Sinn Féin is the only party that has consistently advocated transferring tax burying and borrowing powers to stimulate growth and to deliver uh, social justice. We have continually called for and will support the harmonisation of corporation tax across the island to promote such growth. We need to grow the economy in such a way that it promotes social justice and delivers for all. The economy should serve the needs of all of the people and not the other way around. The key area for growth will be the development of innovation and research and development. This will require investment and capital. This is an issue for banks, third level education and businesses alike. Investment by business is critical in this respect. In 2008, businesses in the north invested 160 million in research and development. In the same year, businesses in the south invested 1,600 million. 10 times the amount here. So business here needs to grow beyond the local and reach into the All-Ireland, British, European and global marketplace. This is a challenge to business leaders and as political leaders we are determined to facilitate that. There is scope to access European support for research and development and sharing the cost through greater access to existing European programmes and shaping the income of programmes. And key to this are the framework programmes. The previous target for local access to this programme was to draw down 60 million. The target for the South in the same period was 600 million. And I raised this matter directly with Commissioner Moira Gagan Quinn, and she and the European Commission pledged to promote greater access to the programme and a greater uh, connection for uh, small and medium enterprises in their dealings with Europe. We also need to maximise access to other European programmes such as Jeremy, Jessica and the new 500 million Progress Microfinance Fund. Sinn Féin is committed to working on the Executive, the Commission with our MEPs and partners in Dublin to increase the take up of European support. And of course we've also been impressing on the banks the need for them to play a positive role and support uh, finance to business. We have proposed the establishment of a £400 million sustainable economic development bond with a contribution of £25 million annually from each local bank. Sinn Féin will also work with the Irish government to ensure that the changes in banking in the South recognise and reflect the situation in the North. And we only have to look at the news yesterday about the prospect of 2,000 redundancies in AIB and how that affects us here in the North in relation to the situation with First Trust. The credit union uh, movement have indicated they are interested in working to establish a £100 million social fund to target indigenous business and deliver social change, and Sinn Féin supports uh, this initiative. Alongside this, we are proposing to establish an investment fund at the executive to focus on SMEs, social enterprise, new technologies and tourism, and export-led manufacturing. These are just some of the interventions we are proposing to increase investment in innovation and research and development. We need to fully realise the potential of FDA, not only in terms of increasing direct employment, but in building supply chains and encouraging local companies to identify and respond to the needs of inward investors. 
We need FDA to put down deep roots on the local economy. So there is absolutely no conflict between seeking to develop local business and encouraging foreign direct investment. It's not a neither or situation. There is enormous interest in good wool towards Ireland, North and South, I believe. But this won't last forever, and we need to seize the initiative and tap into it. We need to replace competition on the island with cooperation to market and promote business.